coming up. Who, who, who can fit up here? That's the question. Don't rip a hole in my leg, please. But Beena, I don't think you can jump up here. Come on, Zeus, you can do it. Come on. Are, are we good? Beena. Let's eat up here. Beena. Hey. Beena. And I just choose a cat instead. Zeus down. <laughs> Athena. <laughs> we'll see if he'll let me pick him up. Turn around, Mace Kitty. Turn around, Mace Kitty. Dog's back. Why did I do this? Athena, get. Get. I'm about ready to call Fat Face up here. Because he's the only one that'll actually sit with me. Should I do it? Mittens will kill me. Get Athena. Get. Get. Mittens will kill me. I'll be murdered by my own cat. I think we're gonna bring that face up. I have two cats now. Because Mittens is over here. He's gonna kill me. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. So I ended up posting a community post asking what you guys wanted to see on the channel and one of the options I put was a video on how I met Rudy. And someone commented asking if I could make a video of that, so I definitely will. So I tried getting dogs up here because I figured there'd be something else to look at while I'm talking, but it didn't work. The one dog couldn't jump up, and then the other one also couldn't jump up. So I have Fatface. Yes, his name is Fatface. And then Mittens is on the ground, and he may join at some point, but he may not, because, you know, Mittens and Fatface have a little bit of a on and off relationship sometimes, I guess, let's just say. But, um, let's start with kind of just the story of it all. So, a year before I got Rudy, he was at our barn. He broke through the fence to his pasture, and the barn that he originally was at, and now where he is now, where he's boarded at, was very close together. So, he broke through the fence and actually ended up at that barn that he's boarded at now. So, I had known Rudy a year before we actually got him, and one of my favorite memories, obviously, before I have him now happened to be with Rudy, and it was a day I was up at the barn, I was grooming Blair, 
and he wanted attention, so he grabbed my hood and pulled me to his stall. And he didn't do it, like, aggressively, because he let go right afterwards, and he didn't do it, like, he obviously didn't do it to hurt me. He just wanted attention, so I thought it was funny, and I should have just told Ruby, like, no, that's not okay, that's not right. But I thought it was funny, and it didn't really hurt me, so I didn't care. And he wasn't my horse, and nor was he the owner of the barn's horse that he was at. He was just boarded for the time being. And then he ended up leaving the barn for about a year, and my mom randomly called me one day. And it was weird, because it was a call, it was probably around, like, four-ish. And I generally don't get a ton of calls from her during the day. It's, so it was weird. I didn't know what it was about. And all of a sudden, she just goes, hey, I have an offer on a free horse. Like, I know we've been looking for horses for the past couple weeks, we've Obviously, we found a lot of horses we liked at that point, but they weren't in our budget range because horses are expensive. Uh, pause for a second. Uh, Mittens is trying to climb underneath my dresser to get most likely a hair tie. But continuing on, sorry, I get distracted. But I was like, oh, okay. Like, what's the horse? And our stipulations for a horse, me and my mom weren't really a fan of chestnuts so we said no chestnuts we wanted a horse with a little bit of personality and i decided i wanted to go down kind of the gelding way not as much the mare and rudy is not two of those things well he is a gelding but he acts like a mare he's got a lot of personality but he's also a chestnut and rudy actually kind of helped me learn to really like chestnuts and I think his chestnut's a very unique color, personally, but that's just me. And when I got the- I asked my mom, like, oh, what color is he? What's his name? And she's like, well, you already know the horse. And I really thought it was Blair. But at the point- like, we were looking for a new horse because I wanted to go down more the English way, not as much Western anymore. And Blair did better Western than she did English. Uh, don't mind the dog barking. Athena. <laughs> but- it was definitely when I was told that I already knew the horse, I thought it was Blair. I figured it was a horse that was at the barn already. But then she said, it's a chestnut. I'm like, oh, but we said no chestnut. She's like, I know, but I think you'll really like the horse. And I said, oh, okay. And I was trying to guess and we had Boris. Like there was Boris still at the barn at that time, but he was 30 and was already partially retired. So I knew definitely it wasn't Boris. And then my mom said, oh, it's, my mom said it was Rudy. And I was like, oh, I kind of forgot that Rudy was even, like, existent at the time, I guess. And it was just funny, because I'm sitting there thinking, like, that's actually a really good idea. And we ended up being able to do a free trial with him as well, on top of him being a free horse, which was awesome. And I'm very grateful for that. But... The night we went down to go see him, I was at my cousin's house for the day because I needed a distraction and she was going to go up to the barn with us to meet Rudy that day. And I had a lot of fun at their house, but there was just always a spot in the back of my head. Like I was thinking like, oh, I could really like Rudy, but what if me going in there and actually interacting with him, I won't enjoy him as much as how I liked him a year ago. Because a year ago, I would pet it like a year before I met him, or that year before we got him. I would pet him and stuff like that, and I'd spend time with him, but it wasn't as much, like, one-on-one -on -one time with him, like, lunging or going in the arena with him and messing with him. It was more, he'd be in his stall, and I'd just pet him when I walked by. So I didn't really, I knew Rudy had a lot of personality. I'd heard a lot of good things about him, because he was, on top of him being there that year before we got him, he was also there a while before and then went back to his old place, but his old home. Um, he was not worked with for six years and I already, like I said, I knew some about Rudy and I knew he probably wasn't with his personality going to be the easiest horse to train, especially because he was 14 at the time. So I knew he was a little older and yeah, we've had rough patches, which are rough, like they are really rough, but 
it's also very like you get a lot of accomplishments out of it and you feel very good when it comes to working with Rudy when you get to actually teach him something because he is a very difficult horse to teach because he we've learned over time he likes to fight everything that's kind of that's part of his personality though honestly and me being a person that doesn't really know how to deal with that and I'm learning since I've gotten Rudy but I still don't know 100% it can be difficult but it's definitely mm, yep mittens I agree it definitely is you get a lot of accomplishments out of it and I love Rudy I would never change anything about him he is one of he is not one of he is the best horse I could have and let's get to the night though we went to go see him since the place he used to be at and the barn was so close together he they were just gonna walk him up to the barn instead of put, load him in a trailer and drive him down there. Well, they went to go walk Rudy out, they got onto the road and Rudy actually pulled loose. And where did he go? He went to Windy Ridge, which is where I ride now and he's boarded. So we always said it was kind of a sign that he knew there was something that was gonna happen that night, that he knew where he exactly where he needed to go. And it was, like, that was just very special to us, or at least to me, knowing that Rudy got out and went there. Because that was, like, another home to him. And Rudy and I definitely, I went to go, I got the story once I originally saw him that first night. And it was just, it kind of made me smile. Like, that story was, like, hearing that he came out, got loose, and then went to the barn almost, like, I don't know. It made me think there was a sign there. Okay, sorry everybody, my phone died on me. But continuing on, so when I walked in the arena, he was a little stressed and very alert because it was a place he had already been to, but he hadn't been there in a while, and he ran there. So he was there for, I think they said like an hour or two before anyone actually got there to put him in the arena, so he waited in the barn. And, um, walking into the arena, I definitely felt like an instant connection. It was nothing I felt with another horse. And I didn't know if that meant more we had a really good connection or if it was something different because I never had felt that before. I didn't know what it meant. So going on after mittens, hey, 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 thank you. Going on after about another 10 minutes of sitting in the arena with him, I definitely learned that that was sort of me and Rudy forming a bond when we met each other originally. And going in there with him, I lunged him because that's what he remembered, is lunging, and he did really good. Being that he wasn't really worked with for six years, I was really proud of him, and I knew he was gonna learn. Like, he was a very smart horse. And, like I said, I felt almost an in instant connection with him. I mean, after we lunged, he had trusted me enough to do the Liberty with me that night, and that made me extremely happy. Like, throughout that whole night, I could not stop smiling, and I knew that Rudy was going to be a very special horse to me. No matter what our stipulations were, he was a chestnut, he acted kind of like a mare, he had a lot of personality, and sometimes his personality gets the best of him. Sometimes it can be a little annoying, but I knew that Rudy was going to be a very special horse to me. And it was something I couldn't turn down because I didn't know if I was going to find another horse like that, at least for a while. And he was just, it was perfect for the situation that we were looking for. Like, there was nothing bad about him. And, like, now that we have him, we've learned that he can be kind of a difficult horse to work with because he does. His personality kind of gets in the way of stuff. He likes to fight stuff, and he really does. Like, it can be hard. But at the same time, it's so rewarding, and he's such a good horse. Like, he takes care of me. He deals with my scoliosis. He helped me become a better rider. And we've definitely helped each other. Like, I've helped Rudy as much as he's helped me. And Rudy's helped me even more, realistically. I've just helped him have riding and a lot of care and stuff like that. He gets to be spoiled every day because he's my only horse. It's not like I have to share my love for two horses because it's just Rudy right now. And maybe in the future, if Rudy's still around and I get another horse, yeah, I mean, I don't plan on selling Rudy. But he gets to have all my love and attention when we're up at the barn. He gets to be 
the center of attention for me, and I think he likes that. Rudy loves the attention, so I'm happy I get to give him that. And that's pretty much how we met. He's quite an interesting story for meeting a horse, especially your first horse when he breaks free when you're, his original owner is trying to take them up to the barn. He ends up there. Like we've always said, that kind of seemed like a sign to us, and knowing that I had already known him, it definitely helped me push to do that trial. I don't know if I would have done a trial with him if I haven't already known him, but it definitely was the right choice, and I don't regret it at all. He's an amazing horse, and like I said, even though we struggle here and there, there's times we click, there's times we don't, it's still an awesome opportunity and he's an amazing horse to have. But that's pretty much how I met Rudy. I hope you enjoyed our story and if you want more about our journey past meeting him, like riding journey and stuff like that and training, which I didn't really mention much in this video, let me know. And if you have anything else you want me to do, long form video rise or shorts or anything like that make sure to let me know but thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you really enjoyed my story with rudy of how i met him and the cat number one and cat number two but thank you so much for watching the video bye